yo 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 i'm back hello hello everybody welcome welcome back welcome back to my beautiful humble kitchen for those of you who don't know who i am my name is mara and i run the funky spork my blog where i develop delicious original recipes and promote awesome local sustainable food systems. First of all, happy new year, happy decade, happy 20s, <laughs> happy 2020 again, and also happy Black History Month everybody. Um, so far 2020 has been um, a little bit crazy, but nevertheless, um, far from uninteresting. Um, I'm just happy to be back here and to share a really delicious recipe that I think you and your family are really going to enjoy. So if that sounds like something that might entice you, then um, stick around and I'll show you more about what I'm going to be making. Do you ever have those nights where, or even those days where you're really hungry, but either A, you're too lazy to get food that you have to eat with a fork and knife, or B, you're driving around the car or somewhere else and you just don't have time for that and you just want something that's handheld. Well, I gotcha. I gotcha, trust me, I do. Uh, for today's dish, you're gonna like this one. It is delicious, it is filling, and I would even argue it's original and has a little bit of pizzazz. What I'm going to show you tonight is going to be the best of two really amazing worlds. And one world I'm going to kind of clump together is Greek and Mediterranean inspired cuisine. And then the other world that I'm going to also bring together is think of your southern US comfort food. And if you can kind of picture if you're from the south or from Florida, we can kind of picture what that entails and I'm gonna bring both of those forces and marry them together in the form of a waffle. Yes, I said it. Tonight, we're gonna be making waffles with the following ingredients, and stick with me, because it's gonna be good. So for tonight, this is what we're going to be using for this particular recipe. And mind you, some of the ingredients, you can definitely sub out for other things. But we have some, um, free range ground lamb, crescent rolls, some very, very lovely little cherry tomatoes that I literally got from a compost pile, call them some hitchhiker vegetables, uh, tomato sauce, local eggplant, as well as locally grown rainbow chard. It is absolutely beautiful. It smells delicious. I can't wait to use that. And um, what's a Greek inspired or Mediterranean inspired meal without some feta cheese? Also, there's another ingredient we're gonna be using for tonight. We're also going to be using Cavender's all purpose Greek seasoning. Honestly, you can use any kind of Greek seasoning. This is not sponsored by any companies, I promise you. But essentially, if you don't have this particular type of Greek seasoning for whatever purpose and you live maybe in a small town or anywhere else, um, essentially the ingredients are going to be salt, black pepper, um, I'd say garlic powder or fresh garlic, um, and oregano and onion powder and parsley. So those are essentially the ingredients that are uh, clumped into this particular spice mix. So let's see how we combine all this and turn it into a waffle. I cannot wait to show you. Stick with me. So one of the first things we're gonna do is uh, chop and dice our veggies. And in a previous video, I was showing you one technique on how to slice with a knife. And I'm gonna slice, be very careful, very careful. You can kind of see this direction. I'm gonna go ahead and slice it down. As you see, my thumb is pointing in this direction. So, no, don't do that. That step I showed you was not only just incorrect in terms of form, but it can actually be quite dangerous because you can wind up losing grip 
and potentially cutting yourself and we don't want that we don't want that even as a home chef myself there's a lot that i'm learning um so i wanted to share that tidbit of information with you so anyway let me go ahead and show you how i'm going to slice this eggplant so what i'm going to do is take the knife and instead of holding it like this is what i did before i'm going to go ahead and hold it like this you want to hold it like this or to the edge like that and you're gonna have more control and I'm also gonna curve my fingers in I want to make sure that I'm firmly holding on to the eggplant and I'm going to dice this until I have roughly a half inch cubes You will then slice each grape tomato in half. And slice the Swiss chard into one inch pieces. Set all the veggies aside. Take a skillet and heat to medium high. Gradually add in the ground lamb and break into chunks. Once you do so, add in the rest of the chopped veggies Cover and allow to steam for about five minutes or until the produce begins to sweat. Afterwards, remove the lid, stir several times, and finish cooking for five more minutes. During the last five minutes, add the Greek seasoning to the mixture. Once the meat has browned, add in the tomato sauce, stir, and turn off the heat. Next, Take a cutting board or a large flat sheet and begin to separate each of the crescent pieces. Set that aside. Prior to preheating the waffle iron, use a non-stick spray to coat both griddled sides. Cover each of the bottom quadrants with two crescent triangles until both form the shape of a rectangle and cover the shape of each quadrant. Divide the meat mixture into eight sections, roughly two to three tablespoons each. Spoon over each of the bottom pastry quadrants with one section of the meat mixture. Afterwards, add one tablespoon of feta cheese on top. Then top each quadrant with two crescent roll triangles until those form into a rectangle big enough to cover the stuffing. Seal each pastry pocket closed. Optional step is to take a fork and crimp the edges of each pastry pocket, which gives it a nice pretty look. You'll then turn on the waffle iron, cover, and allow both waffles to cook for six to seven minutes or until golden brown. And these bad boys should make four savory waffles. Anyways, enjoy. Okay, so it is done. The waffles are finished. They look delicious. They smell really great. They're pretty heavy. And when you think about why they're pretty heavy, it's because we've got lamb, feta cheese, eggplant, tomato, and chard, and a whole lot of love in these little bad boys. So, I cannot wait to dig in. So let me go ahead and get my fork. And I'm just gonna um, do some shots just so you can see it up close. Uh, look how beautiful that is. It is so pretty. It smells amazing. And oh my gosh, the crescent rolls just create this nice buttery texture. You know, if you do have a phyllo dough, that would be really interesting to try. And if you ever make this with a phyllo dough, let me know how that turns out. Please comment below because I'd love to hear about that. And maybe one time I'll do a variation with that. And once again, I just want to make a note here for anyone that is plant-based, whether you're vegetarian or vegan, pescatarian, what, what have you, you do not have to use um, grand, ground lamb or ground beef. If you have um, either textured vegetable protein or even chickpeas, um, I think that is perfectly viable. So feel free to use any of those types of alternative proteins 
for this particular recipe. There are also uh, vegan versions of feta cheese as well. Um, and you can do without that. That's totally up to you. If you don't even want to do dairy, that's fine. Um, but I always just want to make that note there just to make these types of recipes as inclusive as possible. So anyway, let's uh, kind of dig into this first little quadrant over here, this first little square, just so I can show you what it looks like. Look at that, look at that beautiful texture. You can see some of that stuffing, some of that filling inside. You can see some of the lamb and some of that chard we were talking about as well as the tomato sauce. So it definitely is pretty stuffed. Um, but more importantly, let's give this a taste. This is awesome. It's really good, really delicious, really yummy. I think this is a, a dish that your family is definitely going to enjoy. If you have some kind of party or some sort of get together, go ahead and whoop this up. Um, and if you wind up making this, let me know what you think. Honestly, the feta cheese with a little bit of that sweetness from the tomato sauce and the tomatoes really makes this dish stand out. And then you balance that out with the fluffiness of the crescent rolls. This really is a dish that is um, going to be a crowd pleaser and I think you and your family are gonna love this. Well folks, I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating my dinner. Um, if you wanna see any more recipes from me or any other kind of food related content, please hit that subscribe button, follow me on YouTube, Facebook and on Instagram at the funky spork and also be sure to subscribe to my blog at www.thefunkyspork.com and also if you really want to support what I'm doing and um, really the funky spork is a passion project of mine um, I will post a link to my patreon account it's a really great way to continue to support the content that I'm doing any way that you can contribute to that even if it's just a dollar that's gonna help to ensure that I can produce quality content for all of you beautiful folks. Well, anyway, that's all I have for today, and I will see you folks again. Stay happy and stay funky.